The Trident, fitted with Autoland, was to become the world's first commercial airliner able to land in fog. Test pilots Ron Clear and Jimmy Phillips demonstrated an Autoland approach into Hatfield. Over to the pilot. We are now lined up on the ILS beam, uh, in line with the runway. We're descending down the glide path, and we have completed the checklist. That is, we have lowered the undercarriage and flaps and made all the actions necessary to carry out an automatic landing. Ron Clear, one of our senior test pilots, is acting as co-pilot for this flight, and he is monitoring the performance of the system. Uh, normally, for an operational approach, uh, both pilots would be doing this job. At the moment, we're passing uh, 450 feet on the radio altimeters, and this means that we have approximately a mile and a half to run to touchdown. The autopilot is controlling the airplane, the flight path of the airplane, and the automatic throttles on the two outboard engines are controlling the speed of the airplane. We're now passing 200 feet, with three quarters of a mile to run. The landing will commence at 65 feet, at which point the throttles will close and the autopilot will pitch the nose of the airplane up for the landing flare. The flare is now beginning and we should very shortly be touching down round about now.